So back in 2015, I was of the opinion that the Perth market was still growing and was going to be growing until around about 2017. And at 2015 it peaked and it started to drop off. In fact, uh, leading into 2017, we had a 12% drop in the market value. So that told me that what I thought my understanding of economic cycles was not accurate. Keep in mind, the single best piece of advice I've, always, I've ever been given was only listen to people who are where I wanted to be. So when I thought I had this really great understanding of the economic cycles and it turned out that I was wrong, I wanted to go and find people that had consistently predicted how economic markets were gonna move, but also with significant time horizon. Like, I, I didn't want someone that was like, oh yeah, in six months time, the market's gonna crash, right? Like a lot of people can start to see the signs. I'm talking like six to eight years out can see where these economic markets are going. And there were two people that I found. The first one was a guy by the name of Fred Harrison. And the thing that I distinguished about these guys is they're known as land economists. They're a different kind of economist. They focus specifically on land. Fred's book, 1980, three book forecast the UK housing crash in 1992. Now we also had some pretty um, big housing uh, kind of crash here in Australia at the same time. He predicted that, as you can see, nine years in advance. Now, Fred has been studying economic cycles going back 600 years in the UK. I then found this guy, Philip Anderson. He's an Australian guy who was studying the economic cycles in the US. He's been studying cycles in the US going back more than 300 years. In his 2002 book, he predicted the GFC, five years in advance. By 2016, I'd identified him and I'd started working with him. As of 2016, he made the prediction that in the early stages of 2020, there would be some kind of global black swan event that would expose the economic global weakness. We were pretty confident in his assessment. In fact, we were informing all of our clients for five years that they should be making changes to their superannuation and their investment strategies in line with this. And then early in 2020, COVID hit. Now, of course, he had no idea that there was going to be a pandemic coming, but what he did know is there was going to be some, like there could be a global event that would expose the underlying economic weakness. And that's what happened. And of course, he did that, you know, five years in advance.